So, you want to know how to cut out an object in GIMP? Well, you come to the right place. Grab your scissors and your crazy glue and let's get this thing popping. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai and today we are back in GIMP once again. It's been a little bit of time, we're back and uh, I have a picture of Dwayne Johnson here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut him out because he has this nice gray background behind him but perhaps we want to put a different background behind him so there's a few ways we could do this um, one way is we can just go up here to the select tool the fuzzy select tool and just uh, kind of click there and drag down a little bit but you can see this isn't very accurate it's not very clean you can see if we zoom in here it's got a lot of artifacts uh, and uh, you know it, it his shirt's kind of dark, so it kind of gets rid of some of the shirt, which is not good. So we want a more manual way to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and select none there. Um, we can either use the free select tool, which is not the best, because if I were to use this, it's like a polygon tool. So it kind of creates straight lines. So you can see how if we were to not use enough segments, it would start getting sharp edged. To make this really accurate, you would have to get in here and do like really tiny lines like this. And this is uh, not necessarily the best way to do this. I will do this for some specific short things but the best way to do this is most likely of course the paths tool so the paths tool up here is uh is pretty much like the tool we just used but you can actually create paths so if you click once there you can click somewhere else and kind of curve the line how you want by clicking and dragging which is really really useful um because you can actually edit the line uh instead of having it be set in stone like the previous tool we used so you can actually edit this line um and and form it to uh, this balding head up here, this this gorgeous, this gorgeously shiny balding head. You can just see. You just go ahead and just uh, form these lines all around there, and you can see we can just go all the way around the head here and crop our guy Dwayne Johnson out of this gray background. He's trapped in this gray, this gray nightmare, and we just need to get him out of here because. Uh, he, he doesn't like it here. This is not the place that he wants to be. And you can see down here with the shirt, I can do the same thing as well. Just kind of go through and crop out some of these edges. I'm using my middle mouse button. Once again, my middle mouse button to go ahead and crop out the, um, to, to pan around while I'm cropping, by the way. And control and then scrolling my, my, uh, mouse wheel in and out to zoom in, of course. You can see I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wrap this all the way around his head and his body and his shirt and his neck here. Um, and you don't have to uh, get super close. You can, of course. And of course, you can just go ahead and just move that. Now, a tool, a trick to do with this, like you can see that we have this sharp edge right here. A trick to make sure that's not sharp is you can hold down shift while you're moving, and then it'll, it will mirror the line uh, across from it. So that's a really easy way to fix that if you have a really sharp edge thing going on there for some reason. All right, now we have a more detailed kind of area right here, which is which is around his ear, which no big deal for us. We'll just go ahead and take our time, zoom in a little bit, get those uh, nice precise edges that I want. And as you can see, we're making our way back around to the other point here. Just go ahead and click that, and then hit Enter on our keyboard. And now you can see that we've selected everything that is not Dwayne Johnson. So I can go ahead and hit Delete. And as you can see, this image does not have transparency, so I'm going to actually hit Control-Z to undo that, so there's no white behind there. And then go up to Layer, Transparency, and add Alpha Channel. Now when we hit Delete, you can see that we have that transparency back behind there of that Alpha Channel. Now we can go up to Select, None, and then click like the Move tool or something just to get rid of all that. So now you can see uh, Dwayne Johnson is now movable to any por portion of the screen. We can move him down here, maybe just peeking out. Like it's, a little, it's, it's, a, it's a little Johnson. There you go. We just move him up here. Uh, we can actually scale him, so now he's even bigger. There we go. Now he's Big Johnson. There we go. So we, you can do a lot of things with this. You can put a different background. I can go ahead and add a new layer behind him. Uh, put that, drag that down there. Make a solid black background. Make a solid white background. I can just eye drop his skin tone there and just grab this and just fill that with that. There we go. So looks really good. And something else you can do to make this line not as harsh is you can go through and go ahead and I mean I'm gonna duplicate him real quick. So right click duplicate. And on the top one, on the top layer, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the blur tool right here and change my brush size down to a smaller size. We can just literally go ahead and just blur the edge very slightly so it's not super hard edged. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and just do that all the way around the shirt as well. And you can see this is much better uh, than that hard edge that we had before. It's a very subtle change, but it definitely looks better because nothing is that crisp. Especially when, like you see, though this line is not that crisp, this line should definitely not be that crisp. So, uh, just a really super easy way to add a little bit more realism to the uh, cutout uh, object you're working with here. Don't want to go too crazy. So make sure you don't stay and like rub back and forth because then it's going to make it super blurry like that. It's not what we need. Just go ahead and just once over top of it. Just 
get it a little less hard edged than it is currently. Uh, and then we wrap back around. It looks much better than uh, our previous, which was uh, this right here. So the one on the right is the blurred version, and the one on the left is the non-blurred version. So you can definitely tell a difference here when I move this over on those two edges. You can see uh, how we have that more realistic edge over here. So that is how it goes right there. And now we can go ahead and finally put our guy, Dwayne Johnson, in his rightful home. He's with his brothers now. There's nothing more we can do. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.